your life! Sorry about that! Welcome home, son. Now who wants to get shit-faced? Hey, bullshit they are. This guy's a beast. I want you to run the harbor. <laughs> Shouldn't have said no. What the fuck? Bad idea. That the boy's dying over there in Vietnam. There's something I gotta do. Uh, I ever tell you how I got this? Sure, you stole it. That I did. Yeah. I left the pocket of this old white man just to come around here raising here. Take this week. This always brought me good luck. I can't do that. I know you think you're alone in this world, you go, go. But you're not. You never will be. <laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And where you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Haitians? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. Now, I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. He managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna wanna see. What's are you driving, man? Maybe after I'm done here. All right. 
Don't work too hard, man. Made my, 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 my. I am pleased to see you. Goddamn, that shit is good. I suppose. Be careful. He wasn't exactly over the moon about having a giant black glove. It's me, they expect us to believe it was one man who did in Dr. King. It's too easy. Too pat. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Where Just him been? and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in Where this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat Sorry and about someone that. can take it all away just like that. What? What the hell's he doing? Huh? Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. <laughs> you go to hell. Yeah, I tried the test job. Dad. How'd it go out there? Those Dixie cocksuckers run this shit like clockwork. And we about to take them apart piece by fucking piece. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. One like a sense. Goddamn beautiful woman. Hell, up to that point, all the other black women I see. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers love black pussy. And these crackers love enslaving African women. Just get that streak on. Start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Fred? Fight, fight, fighting for freedom. Fute. Freedom don't mean shit. Huh? Yeah. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Bonjour. You're not welcome here. What? Oh, ah! ah! Hold him. I'm not getting you right out to eat or whatever game. until he takes you down. Sorry. If you're white or Italian or whatever, he must see me, right? I keep wondering when they're gonna catch that Hollow Speaks guy. He should look out. You want some weed? I can set you up. I hear they can't find crazy radio guys nowhere. He gotta be somewhere. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Ten Baca was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's backing the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why I sent me an Iwag war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? 
Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. My Connor replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs, you know, for old time's sake. That's... That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Lincoln, you were sight for so long. Been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. That's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to him? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy and Ellis. They always did right by me. You don't see any police arresting the girls, Merle's... ...making work for him, as long as a horn is kept to the ho... Psst, hey! Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Let me give you some of this money. So I'm driving along listening to old Johnny and this motherfucker comes on and takes over the whole goddamn station. Now I gotta listen to nigger music, hippie music, all I kinds of bullshit. You could like always that, turn girl. it off. But it's my goddamn radio, not some mystery nigger radio. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you then, man. Guess your ass is finally gonna have to learn to read then. Huh? Oh!
Hey, He's over here. Get him. I'm gonna I'm rip you to shreds. Getting down low. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get away from me. <clears throat> ah! oh, oh, fuck. I'm hurt. Shit, he's oh, done for. Oh, oh. Buy me some time. Some bitch right there. I can't feel my face. Can't so. My face. Where'd he go? Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> What's that going for? Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank you. Thank you. This is some bad acid, man. Bad fuck fucking now, shit. I can't feel my face. Can you see my face? Take it a shot. Where's my fucking face? What do we oh. have here? Where are my shoes? Shit, shit. <laughs> Got us on him. Shit. Reload. <sighs> that baby's all mine. To play. Are you dead, cocksucker? What? My ass. <coughs> Boy's done. He owed me <coughs> money. Now you gotta pay. Need a second to reload. about being the pastor's daughter is true. I still pray for her, though. <gasps> oh, God. The law must be notified. Watch yourself! I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, Jerry's still out on that one.
Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn if that place in the hellhole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. He's leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. What Merle was doing to those girls up at the club, he deserves to pay. To go, we have to get out of here. What's only? No, no, he brought this thing for me to use. He wanted you to be no. ass. No. Only a ass. Some bitch is here. I'm ready to leave this world. Run, I need to be there for my babies. Yeah, burn board. Someplace else. Fellas! Hey! Merle's holed up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau.
still can't believe one of those jigaboo motherfuckers has the balls to come after us. Think they would have learned after Sammy. Just the local color, showing they're upset. Besides, don't see any of them around now, do you? I hear there ain't no stopping this one. He's a black demon or some shit. Just uh, find out what the fuck that was. Stop shooting. Ugly fuck can't hide huh? from me. Get him out of here. Well, I figure we should all Little have fucking guns. help. Ah! We will find you, cocksucker. Hey, boys, we can't take much oh, more of this. Ah! Ah! Be I see him. Get, Get where he can't see you coming. I'm an old hey, man. Hey, hey, man. Hey, hey, Whoa, ducky. Some bitch got me pinned. Shit, got to reload. Uh, can't let him pick us off. Don't find a hole! Another oh. down. Kill that oh. motherfucker! He got past every... Oh, he's probably long See, gone. He's there. We will find you, cocksucker. Believe that. Hey, boys, we can't take much more of this. He dropping oh, us! No. We done huh? lost one. He could be anywhere. We just oh, lost a man. Uh, oh, damn it. We will find you, <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> He's gone. And I'm all on my lonesome. I found him. Come on. Fucker must have took a... I can't put eyes on him. If I gotta search all night, that boy's mine. Definitely wasn't a squirrel. Uh, uh, Try uh, doing that to me, tough guy. Hollow, sweet guy. Uh, Maybe. You listen to yesterday's hollow speech. Is he sounding angry or what? more burden than we can carry. He knows our struggle. So I said, no grip, period. Can't stand it. Heck of fun. I only hope the boys around here... 
tell me what one more time how a goddamn nigger just strolled on through here without a care in the world do it i'm sorry Mur. Hey. help me out here i promise i won't die it's got me pinned ending this waste of skin maybe we are not living in nazi germany or communist russia we're in the ah. United States of America. So well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. My church is the city of New Bordeaux, and my congregation, every single one of her citizens. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. I would be a fool to deny him. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. Good. I'll send some men over to see to the place. Run those Dixie motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. Won't change if you're all right. Some brothers come back fired up and ready for a fight, while others could go their entire lives without touching another firearm. So she's getting the house, and he gets to keep his car. Everyone wins, I guess. I only hope the boys around here don't start falling into gangs like out in California. Excuse me. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to... Uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. Uh, she watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. Uh, she, she shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It, it's impossible to know what's true. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. <sighs> that heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid. So getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But the man should dig up more of them. We could wiretap the entire city. All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. You find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. <laughs> Stop over and see. 
see what's going on? Thing is, Buddy knows a bartender works at a club over in the French ward. He just Y'all hear that? Him. Found his black ass! Gonna be everywhere. Oh, What's Four Finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. From now on, my crew is your crew. Oh, sorry. But I'm serious, man. You heard about the curse that witch put on Bobby? That boy was weak. Getting down low! Ah! You see what I'm Shit, saying? He's picking us off! Run. Ah! Get... He's handing us our asses! <laughs> and a righteous fire came out of heaven! I'm all that's left, boy. Come and get me. Oh, ah. Sorry. Huh? You just shot him. I saw it. Run! 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 <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Y'all get over here! I'm gonna barbecue your ass! Some bitch got me pinned! On the bright side, God damn it, he's gone. Gotta show up sometime. Ah, oh. You know how I always 
say there's no such thing as an ugly baby. Well, that... You reconsider my way of... Yeah, I just know I'm going to... there. How you doing? <laughs> Don't shoot! Don't shoot! He's feeling froggy! Get <laughs> over here, fast! <laughs> oh, <laughs> me, police. I don't Please go. hurry. Uh, if you all got the time, you're gonna tell gonna me about the dope operation. The boss has got him, Forrester's dealing around the hall. From now on, my crew is your crew. That boy's got a gun! That's it. Again, is it? <laughs> Shit, man, you know I'll do right by you. Uh-huh. All my money back, uh, guaranteed. Uh, I'll and charge you a double you next really time. Oh, I just learned to shoot this morning. <laughs> Get over this blind spot. Shit. Who do you think's gonna walk away, bitch? Don't wanna go like this. I got one! I got one! Can't get out from under! I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck, and as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. You inbred motherfuckers leave me here! I say it if I get shot, y'all are screwed! Fall in, now! He's here! Ah. That fell real good! Oh. Run that motherfucker out of here! Ah. We just lost a man! Uh. 
shit, gotta reload. Gonna plug him. We've been looking for you. <laughs> Do not let up. With pleasure. Can't get out from under this. Whoa, duck it. <clears throat> I'm pinned down. There's our problem. Gotta change mags. Stop. He killed oh. another one. Hit him while it's reloading. <laughs> Can't let him pick us off. <clears throat> How's that feel, asshole? Ah. He killed another one. Need to grab some cover. Do not let up. Found one. One more for him. Get in my way and you die first. Changing clips. Reposition him. Found one. My sides. Take. Uh, uh, uh. If he hollers, hit him mo. <laughs> uh. uh. Work for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. Uh, okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. Uh. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969. Is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon, then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers.